complete toggle track tutorial, master time tracking and productivity management. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new toggle track tutorial where I will be going through all of the features and different properties that are offered by toggle track, how you can track your time, manage your team and collaborate. So let's get into it. First of all, what you're going to do is you're going to go to toggle.com and you will land on this website right here. Toggle track is all in one platform that allows uh, you to create your project you can uh, you know track time you can create your time sheets you can add integrations you can collaborate with your team and do much more for your business in order to get started with toggle track it's really easy you can simply click on try for free and then you're gonna simply sign up using your google account or your email address so after the initial sign up you will get to this dashboard right here you can see this is our dashboard on toggle track so uh, here we have our workspace then we can see the track option then we can see analyze we can see reports insights approvals in manage we have projects clients members invoices tags goals integration and even more uh, we will go through these uh, you know options one by one so the first thing that we need to do on our toggle track is to actually invite team members so we can create a team for that, I'm going to simply go to the member option under manage and this is where we will invite some team members. So we have the invite option here and even at the top here. So I'm going to click on invite member and all I have to do is just enter the email address and then we will select the access. So let's add an email address here. After entering the email address, now you will select the access, whether it's an admin, team lead, project lead, or just a user. So this person is just a user, a team member. So I'm going to click on invite and now you can see an invitation has been sent to them and they will be invited right here. This way you can add different team members and you can even import a list if you want to. Once you have added the members, now we can create a project. So for that, you're going to go to the project section here and now we will create a brand new project. So we can create a project by clicking on this button at the top or you will click on create a project. Now we will give our project a name. So I'm going to call this project test one for the purpose of the video. Then we can select the color for this project just to customize. I'm going to give it a red color. Then we have privacy so you can make it private or you can make it public as well. Then we have invite team members and this is where you will add the team members that you have. So I'm going to add the team members. Then we have regular members or project manager. So if you want to give access to these people as the manager, you can also do that. Now I'm going to click on create project and a brand new project will be created. So let's open up our project now and you can see this is where I will be able to see my time tracking for this project, my total hours. We can see the tasks and team as well. Let's create a task within my project. So for that, I'm going to click on add task and we're going to give our task a name. So I'm going to call it task one. Click enter and a brand new task has been created. And now I can assign it to a team member. Similarly, I can add the rate for this specific task. So whether it's hourly or custom, so it's default hourly rate and I can even change it if I want to. Then we have the progress. So this is where I can add the progress for my task that I have created. Click on these three dots and we can add mark as done or delete as well. This is where I will see the total hours of the task, the billable hours, the billable amount so that I know what to, you know, what invoice to create for my team member or the person who worked for this task. So here we can see the main dashboard and here we can see the team. So I have added two team members to this specific project and I can add more members as well. At the top here, you will get the edit project option. So click on edit and that will allow you to edit the name, the customization a little bit, and you can even change the privacy. With advanced option here, you can actually create a recurring project or you can uh, add a time estimate too. So for here, let's say if this task was recurring task or the project, I can, you know, select this option and then we can select whether this project is reoccurs every month, week, bi-weekly, quarterly or yearly. So maybe this occurs like monthly. So I can select it here and we can select the date. But this one is not recurring. So I'm going to, you know, not add this. And then we even have a time frame for this specific project. This is where I can add the deadline for my project. So we do have a deadline for this project, which is the end of this month. So I'm going to go ahead and add it right here and click on save. So now you can 
see this test project is all ready. We have the members, we have the dashboard, we have our, you know, deadline, we have our billable hours, and we are good to go. So now that we have created different projects, we can go to the timer and we can track time for a specific project. So for that, at the top here, you will find your panel that allows you to track time very easy. What are you working on? Click right here and it will allow you to select a task or a project. So you can either select an, a task individually or you can select a project as a whole. So I will be selecting a project here and now I have added it and then we can add the text. This is where we can create a brand new tag as well. So create a tag, you can just click on add a tag and you can click on create. So for example, I want to create a tag called new and I will click on create and it will be created. We can also create the tags by the tag option under manage on this side of the screen. I will show you in a minute. So this is a very quick way to create a tag when you are adding your project. So this is new. Maybe I can add another, you know, tag, which is going to be test. So we're going to click on create test and you can see now we have two tags created. Then we have this billable and non-billable option. So Billable means that I will be able to, uh, you know, check if this task is billable, like later I can create an invoice or if it's not, then you can turn it gray. This one is billable. So I'm going to select it. And now you can see our timer is working. I can start the timer. You can see I started the timer at this time. So maybe it says stop at this time. Maybe not. Maybe we can like keep on going with the timer here or we can continue. So I'm not going to stop the timer and it will continue. If I want to stop, it will add the entry and I can actually pause it as well. Then we have focus mode on. So if you want to open the focus mode, you can click right here. And then this is what it will show you. It's like a clear, uh, you know, view of the time that allows you to just check the time and you're not distracted by anything. Then we have these three dots that allow me to pin as favorite or delete or split this time that we have created. So I'm going to keep the clock ju running just to show you how it works. So this is how you track time on toggle track. So once your uh, time is being tracked, let's go ahead and check out the invoice option right here because invoice is one of the important options on toggle track let me show you how to create an invoice so you track your time you have billable hours and now you want to send an invoice to a team member so for that we're going to click on create invoice and this is also important for our team members to send an invite to us if we are the manager so what we're going to be doing is we're going to go to the timer here and we're going to actually stop this timer to get an entry so now we have an entry here we're going to go to the invoices click on create from reports and now we have an entry added here so i will be going with this one so we're going to select it let's say this was maybe two hours or something like that so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to add another entry if we want to so you add a user so this is where you can add an entry manually if you don't want to add it from your timer click on add entry select a user. I'm going to select one of the users and you're going to add a description. So for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to go ahead and write the word test here. And then we have select a project. So we're going to select our project. For the text, I'm going to select the text that we created. And then we can select a manual entry and let's say so a person worked from 7 to 12. So I have added that right here. So now you can see we have another entry added here. We're going to select the entry and now we can actually create invoice with this one. Here we have selected the project. Then we can go to the task from the top here and we can even select a task. Then we can select if it's billable or non-billable. And this is where you can add the entries for your amount, for your reports. So we're going to go ahead and add the billable here. So we're going to add the time entry. So again, you can add a time entry manually here and now once within your uh you know reports you can click on create invoice you will click on create invoice at the top and now you can see this is the invoice here we can create invoice directly from the reports where you don't need to then do a lot so you're going to give uh, your invoice a name so let's call it maybe this is like the first invoice and then we have the invoice date and the due date so i'm going to change the due date to 15 here then we have purchase order so this is where you will add the order number so let's say maybe this was the order number then we have payment terms now if you have any type of terms uh, for your invoice so you will add them right here and then we have a build two now this is where you will add the address or the person and then this is where pay two now let's say this was build two we're gonna go ahead and enter the address here so let's say i want to go with this one and then at the same time we're gonna add pay two so pay two again i will be adding another 
email address here and this will be our pay too okay perfect now we're going to select the currency for our specific invoice so you can add the currency here so for me i'm just going to go with usc then we have the description now this description is already added with the reports that we had and then we even have the subtotal and then we will have the add tax option so these are the different options that you will be getting with the invoice once you're done you're just going to click on download and save or you can click on send and your, the invoice will be sent directly moving on we have the tags just under um you know the invoices so i i told you that i will show you how to create a tag um to create a tag it's really easy and uh, tags will help you customize and you know optimize your workspace so simply go to the tag option here now we're going to click on new tag and just give your tag a name so let's say that when we're creating different projects we have new i created new test maybe there is an error for a test so we're going to add the error tag then i wanted to create a tag for delayed so i'm going to go ahead and add delayed here so this is how you will be creating tags and then you can add these tags to your projects then here we have the goals option and integrations so um integrations is actually one of the important options when it comes to toggle track because we can integrate any type of application to our toggle track very easily you can integrate your iCalendar, google calendars outlook calendars you can even integrate your salesforce Shura, asana quickbooks and you can add uh, different extensions uh, from uh, such as chrome firefox or trello in, or notion so this is actually a really good option that's available within our toggle track to help us optimize our workspace and kind of like get the best out of it so this is how the integration will work then we have the billable rates here now a lot of people are confused about the billable rates and how does that work well you can simply go to the billable rates and first they actually give you some information that how you can do this now it totally depends on you what you can do is with the billable rates there is a workspace rate which is the general rate the most general rate then you will have a work member rate now you can actually have different billable rates for each member then there is a project rate and then project member rate and then there is a task specific rate as well if you want to be more specific um, to a related task so these are the different types of billable uh, you know hours that are available so for the billable rate what you do is you just add an hourly rate so for example uh the new rate that i wanted to add let's say i we have like 20 dollars per hour so we're going to go ahead and add it and then we can change it for all the data that i have and now we have hourly which is the 20 dollars per hour and if i want to go with the non-billable i will just simply select this one now if i want to add a member a specific member to it and i can be like okay this is their rate so i can just select the member right here and then i can add like the custom rate for them or maybe i can just give them the general billable rate that we have so after you have all of this uh you know projects and you're doing the uh tracking you have your timesheets ready we can simply go to the insights now so within my insights i'll be able to get an insight to my projects that i have created i'll be able to get insight to my hours what's happening and quite similar to reports now within my reports i'll be able to see my uh, reports for my members clients projects tasks and billable hours tags description and more and this is where we create the invoice we can now export this or we can save and share so you can scroll down to even see the different charts the different views for your project and now uh, at this side of the screen you'll be able to see we have this option which is the add and if i click on add that will take me to my toggle.com that allows me to actually add more features of toggle um, such as the project management and more so this is the basic workspace that i have if i want to manage and create another workspace i can do that so we can have multiple organizations within one toggle and then we can switch between the organization so i'm going to click on new organization and we're, we're going to give it a name so let's say this one actually is called like x company let's just simply go with that click on continue and then we have add a team member maybe we can invite them later so if i do that now you'll see this is a brand new workspace for me within my toggle so we can have more than one workspaces of course and then we can switch between them very easily so i'm going to go back to my basic workspace where we were just working so i'm just going to go there okay perfect so this is how you can switch between the different uh, workspaces as well within your admin you'll be getting the subscription organizations and at the bottom here you'll get the settings tracking time with toggle is really easy as i showed you before 
um, you can just simply select any of the you know workspace from here you can select a project and then what you do is you can add billable non-billable and your you know uh, you can have your clock ready to work and you can see right here this is how the clock works and we can track time really easily all the entries are added to your calendar here uh, with all of the different features that i showed you with toggle it's it looks pretty amazing so now you might be wondering what's the affordability of this platform so let me show you this is the pricing plan for toggle track you can see we have four plans here there is a free plan for just uh, zero dollars it's completely free and you can have up to five users you will be getting unlimited time tracking unlimited projects and clients you will be getting the exportable reports automated time tracking and more there is a starter plan which is for small teams and it's just nine dollars per user per month and everything in free plus billable rates time rounding for reports you will be getting tasks and project time uh, is estimates you can also get the templates and more then there is the best value which is the premium for just 18 dollars per user per month here you will be getting everything in the previous plans you'll also get the free uh, fee projects schedule report emails team uh, labor costs you will be getting the time tracking reminders and more then there is an enterprise which is custom so you can like contact and get your custom demo right now so this is the pricing plan and i think a toggle track is quite affordable and cheap platform to use if we take a look at all of the different features that we're getting it, it is pretty impressive so within your dashboard you might wonder that okay if you don't want to work with the project management aspect of toggle and you just want to use the tracker you can actually click on this option right here which is just the the toggle track uh, so what we do is we simply go to the timer here within the toggle track and this is like a simple just the time tracking here that you will be getting so you can actually get this for free and within your toggle track as well we also can get the approvals here that uh one that is also one of the important options here that what happens is that you can check out the timesheet and you can create a timesheet this one actually is available within the premium plan and that's why i wanted to show you the uh, pricing plan as well that there are some features that you will be seeing that are just available for the premium so you can actually go ahead and check it out uh, you can also create groups within your toggle you can create workspaces as i showed you and then you can track time really easily once you have track time this is where you will get your calendar view as well and we can actually get the time sheet now this is where you get the time sheet on your basic toggle track dashboard if you want to also create goals with toggle track you can click on create goal and you can add a goal name so for example our goal is to maybe uh reach 70k in maybe in estimate or something like that so maybe i can add something and then we have the track so we will be tracking our billable hours here for at least i think have six hours every day yes and then we have until this is where i can add the due date for my goals so maybe this is the end of the month i'm going to click on create goal and a brand new goal will be created with my total track and this will help me keep stay on my goal and focus on my you know team and my project so yeah guys these are all of the different features that you can get with toggle track you can go ahead and check it out right now toggle track is all in one platform that allows you to track time that will help you manage your project i showed you all of the different features and tools um you can even add integrations into it you can uh, have your maybe freelance business or your small business you can run it very easily using toggle track i hope this video was a big help to you and now you know how to use toggle track don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below and subscribe to the youtube channel